I was um, a senior in high school and uh, I was trying so hard to look like Mary Tyler Moore but when I cut my hair really short everybody said you look like Carol Burnett so my mom uh, who was you know a little bit of a stage mom said write the fan letter I was a big fan letter writer I had, I had a fan I had pictures autographed pictures all over my room everybody had written so I wrote Carol and told her that I looked like her would love to meet her someday she um, I enclosed a, an article about this upcoming contest that I was going to be in uh, Miss Fireball which is a uh, a, a, yet another uh, story. It's a spin-off, actually, with <laughs> Miss Fireball. It was the fireman's ball. Anyway, there was a picture of me in the paper. And uh, so she, what she did was she took my dad's name out of the newspaper, looked us up in the phone book, and called me after school, made arrangements to come and see this contest. And her husband uh, used to tell a very funny story uh, about them driving down the freeway to Hollywood Park, which is where the contest was going to be held at the racetrack. And he said, what the hell is she, a jockey? Anyway, they came to Hollywood Park. She said, you know, I'm pregnant. Just indulge me here. I've got a hunch. So they, she comes into Hollywood Park. She watches the contest. I win the contest. She, uh, uh, they coerce her into coming up on stage totally pregnant. out to hear pregnant, like 14 months pregnant. And uh, she comes up on stage, crowns me with my golden fire helmet. We take a picture with the mayor, and she disappears out of my life. And uh, it was like maybe, oh my gosh, several months later that I heard on the radio that she'd had that baby, thank God. And uh, I was re doing a recording session with the Young Americans, w uh, which I, I used to be a, a young American when I was young. And um, anyway, so we were doing this uh, Firestone Christmas album. Remember those? Remember those? The Firestone Christmas albums, if you do, you're old. Anyway, <laughs> we were doing one of those. I said to the guy I was riding with, let's uh, stop at the hospital and say hi to Carol. And he said, you can't get in to see Carol Burnett. And I said, well, I know her married name now. So, hey, I think maybe I can. So we stop, we get the flowers. We go up to the maternity ward, which is totally empty. Nothing going on that night. There's two nurses sitting behind the station. I walk up, I said, I'm here to see Mrs. Hamilton. Well, they didn't even bat an eye. They said, oh, you must be your sister Chrissy. Well, wait till you see her. Wait till you see the baby. Come on in. They took me right into her hospital room. And she was, in hindsight, very gracious. She said, I haven't forgotten about you. I promise I'm going to call you as soon as I get my tummy back. Well, now I don't hear and I don't hear again. And several months go by. And uh, she, a really interesting side story is that her um, manager was in New York at the time. She was living in California now, getting ready to start the Carol Burnett show, putting it together. And he sees uh, an Andy Williams show that the Young Americans have done. Remember the Andy Williams show? If you do, you're old. Okay, anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> so we were on the Young Americans were on the Andy Williams show and in the body of our little um, we had a big number of our own in the body of which I had like a 10 second little solo so now he's watching it in New York East Coast time he calls Carol he says I have found you're not going to believe this but I found the kid to play your sister Carol says really who is it he said well I don't know who she is but she sings with the Young Americans and she looks exactly like you and Carol said I've already met her kind of freaky that like one way or another we would have met. Uh, anyway, about a month later, her husband calls me, says, do you know where CBS is? Come on down here. We want to talk to you. And they asked me if I would audition to play her si audition, mind you. They had uh, auditioned a number of young gals. And uh, the finalist, along with me, was this darling little blonde, perfect actress from a soap opera, you know, and here I am, this geek, you know, who knows nothing. Uh, and I have no idea why on earth they picked me, but uh, there you have it.